guys, so today's video is going to be on what I got for Christmas and I just want to clear up some things. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because I personally, personally love to watch what people got for Christmas. I love watching those type of videos. I've always been one to like those type of videos. So I figured why not do one myself now that, you know, I've started my channel and you know, I can just share things with you guys. Um, so in no way or form am I trying to brag or like show off what I got. That's not what I'm doing at all. I just want to show you guys some things that I got. And a lot of the things I got were things that I've been wanting. Obviously, I didn't voice that I wanted all of these things, but I did secretly want them anyways. So just a huge, huge, huge thanks to my parents, my family. They are just the most amazing people ever. He seriously like got me everything I wanted and more and just having them during Christmas is the most special thing to me ever. I'm not gonna start tears. I'm a very sensitive emotional person. I'm not starting. I'm not starting. Ugh. I guess the first thing I really want to start off with is all the makeup side of things that I got just because this is a beauty channel why not just start off with the makeup because I mean that is the most important thing here anyways. I guess I'll start off with these things here i don't know what to start off with so i'm just gonna jump in the first thing that i pull out is the sonia kashuk limited edition deco starlet eye palette this is what it looks like i'm sorry for the glare but yeah looks like this and i think this is so beautiful and even that gold shade right here i think will work amazing as a highlight Oh, I just, I really like it, and the packaging is super cute. Two things I got are also from Sonia Kashuk. This is the limited edition Sonia Kashuk All That Jazz 10-piece brush set. This was at Target. This is actually where my parents got it. Um, I love brushes, and a girl can never have enough brushes, so I'm happy. And I think the packaging is so amazing. And I think this is around $30, which isn't bad for a 10-piece brush set. And Sonia Kashuk brushes are really, really freaking awesome. My hair is, like, acting up. I don't know what's going on. And the last Sonia Kashuk thing I got was the Golden Age 4-piece brush set. And it comes with a case as well. So this is your case. And then you have your four brushes, which is, like, a face brush. This kind of looks like a little paddle foundation brush and two eye brushes. I'm set with brushes for life. Next thing I have is the Too Faced Hangover RX um, Replenishing Face Primer. This has been on YouTube for a little while now and I've been dying to try it just because I've heard so many great things and honestly, I'm a sucker for packaging and this is so freaking cute. It's a primer but it comes with a pump and I don't own any primers that come with a pump. They're all like squeezy tubes. So, so super excited to try this, and I might just do a review on it. I don't know. Next thing I got is a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Patina, and Amanda and Singh actually hauled this in a video, and she kind of said that it was similar to Kat Von D's Lolita. So, I wanted to try it, and my mom actually got it for me. My mom is like my absolute best friend. She knows me so well. So I think Christmas for her is kind of easy to pick out things for me. Um, this, so this is what Patina looks like and I kind of have other swatches there. But Patina is so beautiful. And when it dries, it kind of gets a little bit darker. But it looks like The next that. thing I got is something I've been wanting for so long. But because Sephora is such a pain in the butt and it was in and out of stock continuously... I couldn't get my hands on it and I got it and this is the Kat Von D Lolita liquid lipstick I'm actually wearing it right now because I just couldn't wait to bust this sucker out and just start wearing it it is the most amazing color ever it is most definitely worth the hype and I think this is something that'll look great on everyone like every single skin tone it'll just it'll complement you so well so this is what it looks like swatched and this is kind of what it looks like on my lips. So, I guess, yeah, you can kind of tell from there. I've just been so excited to try this, and I'm glad I finally have my hands on it. Next thing is also a Too Faced product. This is the La Creme Lip Cream, or Color Drenched Lip Cream. It's basically a lipstick. And this is in the color Pink Chocolate. Um, 
looks like this. I think Too Faced lipstick packaging is so cute. I own three other ones, but they're all shimmery. And this one is a pretty sheer color. So this is what the shade looks like in the tube. And this is what it is swatched. So super beautiful. You guys can kind of see the trend I have going on here. This is like the pinky mauve family. I, I'm just so obsessed. The next thing that I got was the Lime Crime Velveteen in Salem. I've been dying, dying, dying to try this. This is just the most amazing thing ever. I do have the Velveteen in Wicked, but Salem is gorgeous. Like, I... I don't, I'm just speechless. It's a beautiful brown, like it's a, it's a pretty deep chocolate brown, but I think it is so super beautiful. I just can't wait to put this on my lips. And I think the Velveteens from Lime Crime are amazing just because they really stay on your lips. Next thing I have is a YSL Pure Color Satiny or yeah satiny radiance it's a lipstick it is number 10 beige tribute this is actually a lipstick that a lot of people on youtube rave about as well i love ysl packaging i think it's so sleek but then again it is ysl so this is what the lipstick looks like in the tube and swatched it's like a baby pink creamy color shade i don't know um, I think it's super beautiful. It's just your basic pinky nude and yeah Excited to try this as well the thing I got is a Sephora eyelash curler with two silicone refill pads It's just a gold eyelash curler for one that I have is amazing. I think Well I'm not gonna look for it right now, but I have shown it on my channel before and I think it's amazing Next thing I have is the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl. This is like a little duo type of thing So it looks like this and it comes with the Dior Show Ion Oh, Ionic? This is not chemistry boo It comes with the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl I've heard so many great things about this mascara and I actually really wanted to try it as well. And then it comes with a mini um, quad, is it? No, it's a five eyeshadow color palette. So yeah, it looks like that. And it does bring the full size mascara and just the mini size of the eyeshadow. So I actually want to open this because I have no idea what this looks like. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is so super sleek. It's very like, ooh, va va, ooh, va va. This is what the mascara looks like. It's super lightweight. I wasn't expecting it to be this lightweight, but it's so beautifully packaged. And then you have the little five eyeshadow thing, which looks like this. It's really pretty packaging. And then when you open it, it's a push down. The eyeshadows are so itty bitty mini size, but they're so cute. And I've heard so many great things about um, Dior's eyeshadows. So excited to try that as well. The next thing I got was the Urban Decay uh, the Vice Palette. This was actually a limited edition thing. It came out, I want to say, about a month ago now. Um, it was only available for a little bit on Urban Decay's website. I think Ulta as well, but not too sure about that. It's no longer available, so if you didn't get your hands on it, I'm sorry. It's Pretty similar to all the other Vice palettes, just different, just a little different. And I think the shadows in here are a lot more up my alley because they're more neutral than the other Vice palettes. Three things I have are from NARS, and these are actually products that I have been dying to try. Like, I... I really wanted them. Um, so this is the NARS Pagale lipstick and this is amazing. I swatched it in Sephora once and I was just like, oh my god, you will be mine one day. And my mom was like, oh no, I was really going to buy it that day. And my mom was like, oh no, just put it back, put it back. So I guess that this is why. Um, it doesn't come with that much product, but I guess whatever. Um, the NARS lipsticks are $26, I believe, and I think the packaging is pretty cute. It just says NARS all around the top. This is what the color looks like in the tube, and swatched, it is beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing I have is a NARS Larger Than Life lip gloss. This is in the color Tibber. And this is the most amazing mauve brown of life in a gloss. And I actually really love the tip. I don't have a lip gloss any like that looks like this at all. And yeah, I think it's pretty precise so you can get a really clean lip glossy look. So this is Tibber. Kind of see the mauve browns going on here. And I think it's just an amazing color. Actually, my uncle was the one that picked these lip glosses out. The other one is also a lip gloss, but it's not the larger than life one. This is just a regular with a dope foot applicator. And this is in the color um, Quito. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am Ecuadorian. So my uncle was like, oh, this would be a perfect shade for you. Because, hello, we're Ecuadorian. You can do an Ecuadorian-inspired... Um, tutorial or something like that. I don't know. It was really funny. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty color. Um, it's not as it looks in the tube. It's a little bit more sheer, but I don't mind that in a gloss. So this is what Quito looks like. Like a pinky, ready, ready? Like a pinkish, reddish gloss. So that was all the makeup part of this Christmas haul or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to show you guys what I got as clothing. So first off, I got two scarves. This first one looks like this. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Looks like this. It's really long and it's really, really warm. This is from Target and I think these are like... Oh, they're 17 bucks each. So, yeah. I love scarves and I love this scarf. It is so beautiful, so right up my alley, and I think it's just gorgeous. I feel like people underestimate Target. Target has really amazing clothing. In the there. next three things are from Victoria's Secret or Pink. I really shop at Pink, not so much Victoria's Secret. Um, but they're pretty much the same thing. So the first thing I got were just a pair of leggings. I've actually been wanting a pair, and it has like the little wings on the side. Just because I love roaming around the house in really warm clothing, being leggings or shorts. I am so obsessed. If anyone knows me, like they know how obsessed I am with the Victoria's Secret um, shorts. They are so comfortable and it feels like you're not really wearing anything. The next thing I got is just a plain white three-quarter sleeve shirt. I can never have enough white shirts. I love white shirts. And then the last thing I got from Pink was this sweater. It just says pink all over, and it's one of those sweaters that kind of zip all the way up. Well, not all the way up to, like, the hood, but, like, it covers your neck and everything like that. So I thought that was really cute and very handy for those, like, really bummy days where I just want to wear a pair of sweats and throw on a sweater. So the next thing I got is actually the only thing that I asked for this Christmas, um, just because I know this thing is so super expensive, um... I wouldn't care at all if I just got this, like this was my only gift, just because, like I said, it is really super expensive. Um, so I'm really excited, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys. So I actually got the Diva Ring Light, um, this is the Supernova, I haven't set it up at all and it's kind of going to be hard to take it out of the box. But so I'm pretty sure that people know what the Diva Light is just because there are a lot of YouTubers that use it anyways. It's just this really, really big light to um, kind of illuminate everything else. Not everything else, but like keep it behind your camera or in front of your camera so that way you can just see clearly. And I won't have like two separate lights on the side of me, one really warm light and one really cool light. I'll just have one big light and that's it. And I actually like the way people look using a ring light just because I feel like it's a little bit more true. I got that and I'm so excited. And with the light, it also brought this six foot um, light stand. And if you guys don't know, I'm only 4'11". This thing is huge. And then the last thing I got is this Yeti ultimate usb microphone for professional recording just so when i do voiceovers i can kind of connect this to my laptop when i'm not filming but like editing videos 
plug this in and you guys can hear me a lot clearer. Um, I think that's that was amazing. So other things that I got this Christmas were actually gift cards, but these were um, people in my family besides my parents. So I got a couple of Sephora gift cards, a couple of American Eagle gift cards. Um, obvious, I feel like everyone or like your grandparents always give out cash for some odd reason. Is that just like an old people thing? I don't really know. Another one of my gifts was actually something that I was so ecstatic when I saw it. Um, just because I wasn't expecting this at all and I'm so so thankful. Um, it is a Michael Kors watch and I feel like everyone has been raving over Michael Kors watches lately. Um, I do think that they're really nice and super sleek but Again, I didn't ask for anything like this, um, but yeah, uh, my parents actually got me the black one. This is actually the one that Amanda and Singh also hauled in a video, um, but yeah, I think it's super nice, and black is just something that goes with everything. I'm kind of debating whether I want to keep the black one or get a gold one, but I feel like gold is so basic now, like everyone has a gold watch that why not kind of diverge from that a little bit and get a black one. It is big, so I do have to go um, take off a couple of links at Nordstrom, but I think it's really nice. Yeah. It is really nice. I really like it. And I got two new jars of Nutella. If you don't know, I'm obsessed with Nutella. Nutella is like an addiction. It's like, I need rehab for Nutella. It's serious. Like, me and Nutella are in a committed relationship. Seriously. So that was it for my what I got for Christmas kind of haul thing. And, um, yeah. I was so excited to make this video just because, like I said, I love watching what people got for Christmas. And it's no way to, like, show off or anything like that. It's just I want to show you guys what I really like, show you kind of my taste a little bit through the things that I got. I would love to know what you guys also got for Christmas because, like I said, this is, we're friends. I want to know what my friends like. And th is this weird? I got, Anyways, I got. thank you guys for watching so, so much as always. I feel like I always say that, but seriously. Thanks. So I really, really, really want to get tutorials of using my new makeup. And there will be better quality being that I have a ring light now and better voiceovers. So I'm just so excited to see my channel grow this year. Um, yeah, and also I really want to make a really, really, really quick note. Um, I'm almost at 500 subscribers. Once I reach 500 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway. I don't exactly know what things I'm putting in the giveaway, but I'm so excited to just have a giveaway, period. And then, yeah, I'm just, oh my god, there's just so much happening and I'm so excited for things. Yeah, I won't bore you guys with all this. I'll see you guys in my next video, which will probably be a tutorial for the new year. Um, I was thinking a cut crease because someone did suggest a cut crease look. And I did say I would have it by the end of this week. Maybe Saturday. Maybe. Don't <laughs> thank you guys for watching. As always, again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.